today I just got back from the 2024 version of Mean Girls. And if you see my re retro epic reviews of the original, you know that I thought the film was very hilarious and very clever and unique in terms of the 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 plot and the characters and the performances, it mainly from Amanda Seyfried as Geffer as as well as McAdams as George and of course Lizzie Hilson as Katie and it was a very unique, funny, hilarious 2004 classic. This version is basically a 2020, very 2024 musical reimagining of the of the of the original film. And I'll be honest, you guys entertain up, uh, but not as much as the original. I guess some um, the entertaining part. First off. I thought the music, the like the songs in this movie, are actually pretty good. Sometimes it can be a little weird, but at the same time, the the actors who and actresses that are, that sing these songs, especially uh, the new actress that played Regina George, she plays she does a she does a great song, especially with her two I Am Regina George songs. Actually, pretty good, and surprisingly. And Grace Rice is a pretty good singer and actress as Katie, especially at the end and the opening where where she keeps getting interrupted, which is pretty hilarious. And the other two best friends like Janice and his friend, I forgot the, the dude's name from the original and this one. And they're, the characters are reimagined versions of the characters. The Geffer is not as funny or is the same one as the original. And Karen is very, very different in terms of her personality. Like she acts very differently. It can get a little uncomfortable. Maybe just for me. Um, but Regina George really steals the show. She's very entertaining. Like. The actress that plays her is Rennie, or like Rennie, is she does a great performance as the character. She's not Rachel McAdams, but she is really, really good. There are some parts that are quite missing that it's kind of surprised that they did not include. One is the mall scene from the original, where at first they would call someone. With someone else, and the other one is where, where Regina George was a testing out her dress, but it was considered too tight. And the other one is where, well, when he was when, uh, Aaron was about to find uh, Regina cheating on her on him. In this movie, he caught her. But in this movie, there's no teacher going with some Asian girls this time around. Which also surprised me too. I thought they would go that route. I thought they would just be a full reimagining of the original. Just for music, but just to act as like a remake as well. Doing the same thing, but in this different spin on it. And also, there's no narration from the characters, like... Like Katie does no longer is not a narrator in this movie at all. I I really thought Tina Fey return was pretty decent because she's still the same character as the original, and he she can get a little funny. And I really like that one scene where she was trying to sing, but like no, never mind, <laughs> she cannot sing. That was a pretty clever way to see if she can sing or not, but no, she cannot. So I thought Tina Fey returned as Miss Miss Northbury, who was punished for her puncher crimes. It's pretty pretty funny, and I really like Lindsay Lohan's cameo as like the game judge, like the game host of like the game that Katie plays like math where before the who becomes like the queens and the, gets the crown. And the party goes. Now it's a pretty decent, great cameo. Um, 
And they get some few laughs, though not as much as they did the first one. Um, and yeah, just that this movie was not horrible, it's just, it's just kind of entertaining, not as much as the original though. And also, another reason that I feel weird about it is that the reason, like, Gesher and Karen betrayed, uh, Regina and George in this way is not because they realized that Regina is mean to them, but it's because she was kind of hurt during the Christmas song. And she becomes unpopular, and Katie becomes popular. Which I was like... That's a weird way to for their friendship to break apart. Um, but yeah, so let's give it three and a half out of five. Uh, Christmas dances or buses? No, let's give it three and a half out of five bus because she gets hit by a bus again, Regina George. So, what do you think of this movie? Did you enjoy it like the first one, or did you die was an okay remake? It's pretty much like that little chop of horrors where it's a r- musical r- remake, but it's also an adaptation of a Broadway version of it. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. So, peace out, my.